like a hell cut. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to check out our Tango Wave. <laughs> so recently got her transcended. So let's go ahead and check out her stats. So as you can see, her energy attack is uh, 35,000 or attack speed. Um, almost everything is pretty much maxed out, right? Yeah. And in terms of her gears, since she's being transcended, so obviously all her gears are at 25 wing ping <laughs> it doesn't have any uru well orange blessings are out of question <laughs> she doesn't even have any energy attack urus as well right so there is a lot that we can do in terms of my build right her skills are all at six as you can see her tap enhancement is at rank four well in pve it doesn't really matter and you will need to advance this baby girl only for pve mainly right i don't really see much value for her in pvp and as you can see she is rocking a stage 6 overdrive along with a 160 percent critical damage ignore dodge obelisk <laughs> right uh, yeah, so obviously there is a lot 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 that we can do in terms of her build right so yes definitely she is not well built out says so he's just okay right <laughs> in terms of who's or in placings uh iso and ctp we can do a lot right so if we give her a proper build she can definitely clear some mid-level wall boss legends right i believe i wouldn't go too far as saying that she can clear really really high level of wall boss legend well no well uh as you can see in terms of her gear i have it only at rare because <laughs> you don't get her bias from a uh, bio selector, right? <laughs> well, you need to pay crystals for a while. And uh, since I'll be using her mainly as a support character, so I don't see any reason to uh, upgrade her uniform. However, so let's check out her uniform option, whatever is available. So, first one being uh, Bullseye Dark Avengers, second one being Invisible Woman, right? And third one is star lord grounded right and for the rest of the uniform option i'll mention it in the description section so please do have a look at it right so now in terms of her skill rotation right well definitely to be honest uh for her role in world box legend right you definitely want her because she's a support character but as an individual character is it wise to spend on wave well, to a certain extent, maybe so. That's what we need to figure out, right? So, in terms of skill rotation, it's quite simple. For normal skill rotation, it would be three insta cancel into four insta cancel into five, and try to proc on five, right? So that's the basically thing. And three and four can be instantly cancelled, right? But however, there is only one slight little problem that at times, like every second or third rotation the fourth skill will actually trigger trigger your proc right means as soon as you press the skill it might trigger the proc right so that's the only bad thing about her kit right so three cancel four cancel five and now in terms of her awakening skill right it will be three four six cancel into five so that, it's as simple as that but the only bad thing about her kit is her full skill which might from time to time uh, actually trigger her damage rock that's the only thing that i don't like about her kit so yeah man so always 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 proc or her fifth skill right so anyways boys and girls without wasting uh much of your time right so let's go ahead and see how well she performs against wall boss legend mephisto we're not going to try very high a stage because as you can already see that she is not really well built <laughs> in terms of anything so let's go ahead and check her out and see how well she performs and whether as an individual character you should build her or not so let's go ahead and figure it out together
Just say yes, you'll forever be under my spell 